Marco, why don't you get off your high horse and come down here with the rest of us? I don't want to be down anywhere with, with the rest of you. I want to be special, and I'm going to be. I mean, Pine Valley isn't exactly the corner of Hollywood and Vine. No. Well, I've been on that corner. It's not all it's cracked up to be. I'd like to find that out for myself. But, Opal, I have dreamed about being in the movie since I was a little girl. And yes, I mean, Pine Valley's come a long way over the years, but it's still not the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Baby. accustomed to it yet? Oh, now where's the little wifey? Oh, Dixie. Dixie! You fell down on the job, Dixie. You were supposed to subdue the wayward Sunday. Tad. Why would you let him sow wild oats Erica. with this witch? Shut up, I am speaking. Why don't you just come and sit down? No, and I will not I sit down. I am not going to be silenced again. I will never be silenced again. I should have screamed my head off a long time ago. But no, what did I do? I was a lady. I was dignified. I held my head up high. Oh, I gave them stiff upper lip. Well, no more. No more. They have taken everything from me. Everything. My company. My job. My marriage. My little girl. They ripped my baby out of my arms 3,000 miles away. Isn't that right, Jack? Broken promises. That's what my life is really all about. I love you, Erica. I'll never leave you, Erica. Your daddy's good little girl, Erica. Well, daddy didn't give a damn. And neither does Dimitri. And neither do any of you. None of you in this room, you're nothing but a bunch of fakes. Phonies. Pretending to love me. Every one of you has let me down. All of you, all of you, everyone! She was the only one who was... Ever there. 
She was the only one I could ever count on. <sighs> oh! Disappear. What the hell are you? Pretty good, right? You can sound a little like me. I can do better if I need to. What is going on here? I wasn't ready, but it's okay. Because now you can see the face behind the voice. My face. My voice. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Who the hell are you and what do you want? Jack really is smart, huh? You two, you got something amazing. He picked up on that hint you dropped during the ransom message. I didn't hint at anything. You said the word quarry twice. You told Jack and the gang where you are, just like I thought you would. You set me up. I know you, remember? So you wanted me to tell them where I was. You want them to find me. Just didn't realize it would be so fast. It's love, I guess. Jack's here? He will be. Oh, man. I'm not ready for this. Not yet. I mean, all this hard work and now... It's, it's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. Excuse okay. And neither do you. So go. Be with Jackson. Have fun. I'm sure I'm keeping you from at least three fabulous parties. Parties? Is that what you think is going through my head right now? Parties? You you think I, I, I want to know about red carpets and VIP rooms? You live a glamorous life. It's, you don't have to apologize I'm for it. I'm not apologizing for it. I love my glamorous life. Jack and I were really soaking up our life. We were... Really soaking it up in horse-drawn carriage rides in Vienna, and spas in Reykjavik, and the Borghese Gardens in Rome. But boy, the minute I got off the plane here in Pine Valley, wow, my glamorous life just disappeared. And it has been just one crisis after another, just crisis after crisis. Don't you think I know all of that? I don't think you know for one second what my life is like. Oh, yes, I have it all. Well, I wake up in the morning feeling really energized. I feel great. But then it starts, then the day begins, and it's one challenge after the other after the other. So many shoes to fill, so many hats to wear. Family leader trying to keep all of you together. Corporate titan, inspirational icon, 
and sober role model. Okay, Mom, please, I don't need any of your grand dramatic gestures grand right now. Dramatic? Mom, Mom, no, Mom! Do you know what you just did? Yes, of course, I know what I just did. I have been sober for seven years and six months, except for the time that Caleb tried to pour liquor down my throat. What were you thinking? Do you have any idea what it's like to be an addict? Of course you don't. I make everything look so easy. You never see my fight with temptation behind my screen. You never see the inner fury and the frustration behind my meek little glass of sparkling cider. America came, damn it. Shouldn't just be brought down by one lousy little flute of champagne. Well, you're not. Not usually. Uh, no, I'm not. Like, my mind is not racing right this minute with possibilities. Anything, anything to get you the hell out of this room so I can be alone with this bottle and have one more sip. Just one more sip. Mom, what is going on with you? Oh, really? Now it's my turn. You get to ask what's going on with me. I get to have a crisis. I didn't know that was allowed. I thought all I was supposed to do was just make sure that you were safe. You have no idea what it takes. Please, please tell me what it takes. Tell me what, 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 what you're doing right now that is clearly just ripping you up. I mean, if it's about me and, and Bianca, then maybe we can help you. I, I want to help I you. I should go to a meeting. Well, okay, all right. Well, I'm, I'm sure an AA meeting is probably a really great idea. But I, I still want to do something. I, I don't totally understand what's going on with you right now, Mom. I guess maybe it's because you're always this rock. I'm a rock? I'm the rock. The rock was my mother, your grandmother. I brought so much trouble to her doorstep and she never once faltered, not once. But I'm not her. I can't be her. I never can be her. And I miss her and I need her and I need her to come back. To see me and see that I'm all right. It's not gonna happen. Here, just come here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this. Erica, I can help you get one of these. I'm already famous. Frankly, Erica, I don't give a damn what you need. This is not the ending I want. Oh, no, you've done the deal. You'll never get it back. Just watch me. 